guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And this week I am going to be focusing on using up items from my fridge, freezer, and pantry. Um, and I'm also gonna be trying out a couple of new recipes as well. It is just me and my husband and our five month old baby. So normally I make about five to six meals um, per week and uh, we have leftovers just depending so this week we are using some items or this today I should say we are using some items from our pantry I had this Saturn's Cajun kitchen that I need Cajun chicken if I could speak that I needed to use and I just used a pound of boneless skinless chicken thighs and then I also had this biscuit mix in my pantry and I needed to use that as well all you do is add milk butter and cheddar cheese and then we are having some um, canned green beans that I had in my pantry as well. So here is what it looks like on the plate. Here is the Cajun chicken. Doesn't quite look like the box. I really thought it was going to be um, more red in color, but it's not. Um, but Howard and I tried it and uh, we both think it has a good flavor. And then here are the green beans and here are the cheddar biscuits. Um, I made them a little bit larger than what the recipe called for. So here they are on the pan right here. And these are drop biscuits. You can um, roll them and cut them out if you want. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I just decided to make big drop biscuits. And we tasted these as well. This is our first time having them. And they actually taste pretty good. You can definitely taste the garlic. And I added a little bit more cheese than what the recipe called for because we like cheese, um, but we like them. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am cooking dinner tonight. I'm trying out a new recipe. This is a recipe that I clipped from a magazine probably about 10 years ago. And um, I was flipping through it the other day and decided that I wanted to give it a try. So it is bow tie pasta with um, sausage and broccoli rob. So in my skillet, I have cooked up a pound of Italian sausage. Uh, we like the spicy kind. So I cooked it up with about two tablespoons of olive oil. And then once the Italian sausage was cooked, I added in about four cloves of garlic. In my pot here, I have some heavily salted water and I have two cups of dried bow tie pasta in there. And then once the bow tie pasta is almost finished, I'm going to add in about a pound of roughly chopped broccoli rob. So I'm gonna add that directly into the pot with the pasta cooking, and then I'm going to drain it, but not rinse it. And then I'm going to add the broccoli rob and the pasta to the skillet. I'm gonna save a little bit of the cooking water, about a half a cup and I'm going to add a cup and a half of grated Parmesan cheese. So not the kind in the can, but a cup of the grated Parmesan cheese along with the pasta water. And that is gonna be our dinner tonight. So once I get everything all cooked up, I'll bring you back and show you the finished product. All right guys, so here is our dinner for tonight. It was such a simple meal and Howard and I tried it and it's really, really good. I ended up adding a, um, once I added the broccoli rob and the pasta in the skillet, I ended up adding a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese and just stirred it up and here it is. It has a really good flavor, I think, from the Italian sausage. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are going to be having leftover pasta, that broccoli rob pasta. Um, so I decided to show you what I um, am making for breakfast instead today. It is 7.31 in the morning and I decided to make some biscuits and gravy because we have leftover biscuits from the Cajun chicken where I made the Zatarain's biscuits. And I remembered, I forgot to show you guys what the inside of them look like. So here it is, here's my plate. I split it open, you can see the cheese in there. And um, again, they're garlic cheddar biscuits. And so this is Howard's plate. I already put the sausage gravy on his biscuit. 
And here is the biscuits and gravy in the skillet. It is such an easy um, meal to make. I don't make it very often because Howard's not a big fan of biscuits and gravy. But I'll tell you what I did. I used um, Jimmy Dean sausage. That's my favorite sausage. I used the hot kind. And all I did was brown it in the skillet. Once it was done, I added two tablespoons of flour. I just sprinkled it over the sausage. I didn't bother to drain it at all. Then I cooked the flour and sausage together for probably about five minutes and once it was combined and the flour was cooked off, I added two cups of half and half. Some people use milk, I just prefer half and half because of the creaminess. Half and half is half milk and half cream and it just lends to a creamier gravy for me. And I didn't add any salt of course because the sausage has a ton of salt in it already, but I did add a little bit of black, pep black pepper. So this is what we're having for breakfast today and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I thought I would pop in really quickly to show you what Howard and I are having for lunch today. I picked up this Mama Cozy's pizza um, during my last Aldi haul and I've never um, bought their pizza before and I just wanted to show you what it looks like and what we thought. So I cooked it directly on the oven rack at 400. Those were the instructions. I will tell you that the ingredients I accidentally, but I didn't accidentally, but it's in the trash and I don't want to dig it out. But the ingredients are real mozzarella, um, real tomato sauce. Um, as you can see, it is a preservative free crust. And here it is. So like I said, I cooked it on the oven rack and then I just put it on this old cookie sheet just to cut it up. I tasted some of it and it's actually not bad. I mean, it is a pretty cheap pizza. I think it was a little over $2, um, but that's what the Totino's pizza um, cost in the stores. And it has a lot of fillers and um, artificial meat, artificial cheese. So for an inexpensive pizza, I would definitely get this again. It has a good flavor. I'm not saying it's the best tasting pizza I've ever had. I think next time I go to Aldi, I'll see what their meat pizzas look like and uh, the ingredients in the meat pizza. But even if I do decide to get a cheese pizza, you know, I can always add my own toppings. So I can add my own meat and veggies and things like that. But I'm pretty impressed with this little pizza and I would definitely buy it again. All right, so I'll see you guys for dinner. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having ramen noodle egg roll bowl. I first made this recipe a couple of weeks ago and I wasn't crazy about it. So I decided to give it another try and, tie, and try it tonight. And so um, what I'll do is I will link the original what's for dinner video um, in the cards above and also in the description box so that you guys can see the recipe. But I just made some tweaks to it. I used ground chicken this time and I changed up the marinade to suit our taste. And so here it is in the skillet. Um, and I still need to make some tweaks to it. Howard likes this version a little bit better because it's a little bit sweeter, but I still need to make some tweaks to it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And I also forgot to mention when I showed y'all lunch earlier today, the Aldi's pizza, um, I will link that Aldi haul in the description box and um, in the cards as well. So you can see what I bought um, because they had a quite a few seasonal items that I picked up to try that that haul. So anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some wings for us. I had a bag of Costco wings in the freezer, actually just a few left and I wanted to use them up because I'm still trying to use up stuff in my freezer and pantry. So we have three different types of wings here. We have jerk, we have lemon pepper, and then we have orange pepper. And orange pepper is something that is new to me. So this is the jerk seasoning that Howard use, uses. He really likes this and this is the only jerk um, that he likes and uses. And then um, here's lemon pepper. Howard doesn't like lemon pepper, but I do. And then here is orange pepper, which is new to me and I, and I just wanted to give it a try. Um, and then we are having grilled corn. So Howard threw some corn on the grill with the wings. And then we are having some pastaroni, sour cream, and chives. And this is what it looks like. It's really hard to find now, but when I first started trying to work on using up stuff in my pantry, I had a lot of boxes of this pastaroni, sour cream and chives specifically, and this is my very last box. So I have worked through that in my pantry, still working on some other stuff. 
So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a, another new recipe tonight for dinner. Um, it is one that I, again, clipped from a magazine years ago. And then what I used to do was when I would find magazines um, that had recipes that I liked, I'd you know, tear out the recipe and then I'd put it in a binder. So that's what I've been doing lately because I've kind of gotten burnt out on cooking and trying to come up with new ideas. But tonight I am making an Italian meat pie. And so what I will do, since this is an old clipping, um, I will take a screenshot of the recipe and then I will add it to the end of this video so that you guys can screenshot it and see it and make it if you want. And I'll also do that one for the broccoli rob pasta recipe that I made earlier this week too. But what I'm doing right now is I've got a pound of ground beef and um, bell peppers uh, that I already cooked up in the skillet. And then to that, I added some tomato paste and water. So, and also I forgot I added the spaghetti sauce mixture to it too. And there's a tomato paste. So I'm just waiting on all of that to come together. And then I've got a deep dish pie right here that I've thawed out. Now the recipe said to use it frozen, but my mom uh, taught me a long time ago to always thaw out those frozen pies uh, shells because it's just easier to cook. So I'm waiting on this to come together and I'm gonna add it to the pie shell. I'm gonna layer it with uh, mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. And so, of course, I'll show you guys the finished product. So I will be back in just a little while. Okay guys, so here is the pie. I just took it out of the oven. Um, and so I'm just waiting for it to cool and then I'll cut it open and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so here is the meat pie. I let it cool and then I cut it open so that you guys could see what it looks like on the inside. Howard and I tried it and we both said it's just okay. It's probably not something that I'm gonna make again. If you do decide to make it, I really think you could just make a really meaty meat sauce and use that. Um, I think that would work just the same. Um, one thing I realized that I didn't do is normally I par-bake my pie crust for about 10 minutes and I didn't do that. So I wish I had done that. It would make the bottom crust, even though it is done, you can see it right there, it would make it a little bit more flaky. So I wish that I had done that. Um, with this dinner, I'm serving some sweet corn. Initially, I was gonna make some um, broccoli or green beans and I just didn't feel like it. So this is from Aldi, I just threw it in the microwave. So we are having the Italian meat pie and the corn for dinner tonight and we will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of videos. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have screenshots of the recipes and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. See you guys next time.